Hello everyone, my name is Reza from Radicad and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a date dimension or a calendar table or a date table, whatever you might call it, in Power BI using Power Query. The date dimension that I'm going to show you will have uh, all calendars columns, year, month, day, quarter, week, everything, and all fiscal or financial columns, financial year, financial quarter, period, and things like that, and also public holidays. So let's start with uh, the calendar uh, column. To create the date table, I'm using Power Query. So inside Power BI, I'll go to Edit Queries because that's the place that I want to start with building this uh, date dimension. And uh, I don't have any queries now. You can do it when you have queries or if you don't have any queries, that's absolutely fine. I'll start with a new query and with a blank query. Blank query is a query that doesn't actually have any uh, things in it. So when I start with blank query, I actually see that it's a blank query. Let me also enable my zooming tool so you can see when I zoom in. Uh, right, so this query doesn't have anything. Now I would type something here, like for example 2010. Right, so this will generate 2010. Uh, what I want, in fact, is actually a date to a start with. So uh, to a start with a date, this is the signature that you can start with. Uh, hashtag or pound key date 2010-1-1. So that means 1st of January 2010. And when I enter it, you see that it shows me in the current format uh, of... Uh, the system, it shows me 2010-1-1. This is, let's say, my start date. And from this start date, I want to uh, add this to a number of dates. Now, to make it uh, a little bit more configurable, I'll do that with variables. I can do it also with parameters, but I'll do it with variables because it will make it uh, easier for you just to copy this script and run it everywhere. Uh, whereas if you compare it with parameters, you have to also create parameters every time. Uh, I'll go to uh, Advanced Editor. So in the View tab, Advanced Editor, this is the place that you can uh, uh, see your M script or Power Query script and start uh, configuring it there. So here is my M script. Now I'm uh, I see that source is a variable, which is this date. Instead of source, I'm going to call it start date. Whatever you might call it, that would be your variable name. And I use the same one in in section. That would be my output. So start date, start date. So still I get the same thing. Now that's my start date. Let's say I also create another variable. At the end of each line in MS script, you put a comma. And then I put another one, let's say years to generate. Uh, Power Query is case sensitive, so if whatever case you use, same case you should use as the um, output as well. So years to generate, let's say I want to generate this for, um, I don't know, 10 years. That's an example. Just to see, is it going to work? I'm copying that years to generate in the in. In is like the output of your MS script. We are not talking about like instructing how MS script works. Uh, that's a totally different uh, video. Uh, so I click on done and this will come years to generate as the output. Again, in the view tab, advanced editor. Okay, now I have my two input parameters or two input uh, variables. I'm going to start building my base state. Only the first part is M script. Everything after that is just graphical interface. So I call this base list and I say base list is equal to, we want to start from that date and create one day at a time for this number of days. There's a function called list.dates. When you start actually typing function names, you'll see that function comes here, list.dates. List.dates takes uh, three inputs. I put them uh, this way. So a start date, we already have our start date variable. Then the number of times that we want this to add dates. Now we cannot say just years to generate because years to generate is, uh, is actually a <coughs> 
uh, is a year uh, number of years uh, here we are adding one day each time so I'll put a comma for this I'll put first how, uh, what is our duration duration is a specific type you should define it with hashtag hashtag duration uh, it takes four inputs itself number of days number of hours number of minutes number of seconds so duration one zero 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 means add one day at a time and when I add one day at a time, then this number of years to generate, I'll just put it here, years to generate should be multiplied by the number of days. Now, uh, depends on is your day 365 days or 300, uh, your year 365 or 366, you have to def choose which one you want to select. Uh, or you can add a little bit more into this function and make that work on that. However, if I use 366, I'm going to have uh, a little bit more days at the end in my date dimension, which doesn't hurt actually having more days at the end, uh, but it also covers for all uh, leap years that might happen in between. Okay, so my years to generate is, uh, so my uh, list.dates is this structure, start date, years to generate, uh, remember these are all case sensitive. Uh, multiply 366 and duration hashtag duration one day at a time now i should use this variable base date in the in section i'll select that and put it in the in section as i mentioned this is the only part that is scripting everything after that would be graphical interface and this part uh, you could do it even easier i did it in the script because then you can copy the script and use it everywhere else so here is the output list.dates and the output here. If you get any errors, probably mm, you misspelled something or instead of dates, you mentioned date or um, uh, case sensitivity was something that you haven't uh, checked again. Um, okay, so th this is the list of dates. Now, uh, starting the next step is to add columns like year, month, quarter, things like that. And to add those columns, um, first you have to convert it from list to a table because list is a single column structure. You cannot add more columns in a single column structure. So you have to convert it to a table. To convert a list to a table in list tools transform, you'll see this option to table. So you'll click on to table that will convert it to a table. I'm not going to change or use any delimiter or anything like that to split it. I just click OK. So this becomes a table. Now this table uh, has um, one column at the moment. I'm going to call this column date. And I'm going to set the date, the data type of that to date. Okay, this is my date column. This is the base day one day at a time for every single day that I have now from this column I can actually fetch year month day all of those very easily how can I do that I select the column then I go to add column tab add column tab there's a date section and here you should see all different type of things that you can add so for example under year I can select year this will add a year for me I click on date again, make sure you click on date again, add column date, this time I select month, so this will add month number of year. I click on date, add column date, this time name of month. As you can see, it's very easy to bring these. I click on date again, under add column date, this time I'll bring quarter of year. Each time you have to click on date column again to do this. And after quarter, I'll bring week of year. You might also prefer to bring week of month as well. You can bring a start week, end week. More columns you bring into date dimension will give you more processing power, of course. Under date, again, I'm using this time day, which is the day number of month. This time, day of week, which is from 0 to, uh, to 6. Now, this day of week can be uh, adjusted as well. If you want, for example, Monday to be first day of week, or if you want to be Saturday the first day of week, you can adjust it uh, in the MS script. Uh, I'll also bring day of year. And one last thing I bring here is name of day. 
right? So I have Saturday, Monday. So everything built here, we just click and select. Only the first part the, to create that base date was, uh, base list was mscripting. Now I can call this table a date table. And I can load it into Power BI. It will be a table with everything that I need. Uh, in the next step, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a public, um, how to add first fiscal uh, columns into that, and then the next step after that, how to add public holidays into this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to um, go and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will have more uh, Power BI and AI learning videos. Uh, and um, check them out. Thank you.